Ah, freaking guy just got me! What the crap, Mesmer? What is up the world? Oh, what is up the world? That is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things with some more! Subnautica! Ladies and gentle peeps, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Hello, breakfast! What? Come here, breakfast. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today, ladies and gentle peeps. It's very nice to see you. And we're back doing some hot Subnautica stuff and things. Make sure if you like the video you see today, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you like what you see, subscribe for more. Wait, what is that? Slumgator, what is this? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I got some stuff and things done. And the place looks unbelievable and amazing. And we have this right here now. We have our brain coral right here. And that means that we can just sit underwater and enjoy the universe of Subnautica without having to worry about the constraints of breathing air from above. Also, wouldn't this be amazing if it was a real thing? I don't think there's anything under the water that creates oxygen like that that you could breathe off of. That would be amazing. We need to figure this out, guys. We can do it, can't we? Bioengineers, unite, anybody? So we've done some stuff and things over here, ladies and gentlemen, and I just must say, it's such a pleasure, and I've said this before in videos that I'm going to say this very, very, uh, very many times, but it is such a pleasure to be back in Subnautica again. You know, we've played this game a few times, but, um, hey, what? Z-Glide Fragment, free titanium. We played this game a few times, but really it is just such a pleasure. And I feel like even though, I don't know when the last time was that we've played it, but I do feel like there has been some optimization or something going on. So we're going to grab a couple of these guys, and we're going to go ahead and get our peeper. Uh, you know what? Double peepers. And we're going to head back over to our new temporary base. Yes, I couldn't help it. I got a little stuff, bit of stuff and things done because I thought it would help us to facilitate doing things much more quickly. So you can see now we have one of the habitats. Remember in the last episode, we went over to the freshwater island. We scanned uh, some stuff and things, and we got the ability to build the multi-purpose room. And actually, we have the scanner room now, the observatory, the hatches, the reinforcements, all of the stuff and things. So we can do a lot of building of stuff and things. I also found, yes, that's right, battery charger technology. Oh, my God. That means that we have some charged batteries here in our inventory, and we have batteries charging here at the uh, battery charger so that we can do stuff and things, and we don't have to throw away batteries all the time. So this is freaking great. Uh, do I have extras? I have a extra. Let me go ahead and over here, like so. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Battery charger, 0%. Go ahead and squirt this guy over inside of here, like so. And there it goes, it's charging up. Um, that battery is being charged by power that's being generated by the sun. We have not one, not two, not three, but four of the solar panel generators right here. And now I do, I don't believe, I don't know how long it's been since it's said, but it actually shows sun 86%, 85%. So that's very interesting. I don't think there used to be a measurement like that in previous seasons. So I'm wondering if that most likely has to do with depth. Um, I also have created some of these exterior grow planter deals here. And we're making a lot of acid mushrooms, as you can see. We could change those out for other things as we get going in the series. But uh, for now, we have acid mushrooms for days. We have... I'll go get some, Brenda. Thank you very much. Um, we have some creep vines with the creep vine cluster deals and then regular creep vines so we can make uh, all the stuff and things. And then we planted some other plants over here too. Writhing weed, a blue palm, a brain coral, uh, and a little vined. Is it vined nettle, I think? And so it's looking quite nice. And it's nice because the, the creep seed clusters here uh, provide a little bit of bioluminescence in the evenings. So it makes our base nice and beautiful and lit up and pretty and unbelievable and amazing. And our first sea vessel is here. We're going to talk about this a little bit more in a second. But I tried to hold off on building the sea moth when I was doing stuff and things. I was just really what I was trying to do was gather up a bunch of materials so that we could just go about our day uh, without having to worry about gathering up so much stuff. Uh, and so here you can see, oh yeah, baby, titanium. Titanium. And we have a titanium ingot. Uh, nothing. There we go. Some hot quartz action. Uh, you saw the battery in there. Not all of these are full. That's got a poster. I found a poster. Uh, and then there's our radiation helmet. And these are our waterproof lockers we're not using anymore. Uh, over here. I think over here. Yeah, we have like plant-based stuff. So coral tube samples and table coral. Cave sulfur. Some of our plant-based stuff and things. Also ha found one stalker tooth. 
Um, and that'll probably come in handy a little bit later. Uh, over here, we've got our rare metals. So gold, there's our silver, there's our lithium, there's our copper. Um, we have lead inside of here and a couple of rubies that we found. And really, I've just gone through and, like I said, really tried to facilitate us being able to play uh, a vi and make videos for you guys and hang out together in Subnautica without having to do a huge amount of gathering at the same time. So to start the day off today, let's go ahead and, well, we'll make our water first. Uh, delicious agua. H2O, in fact. Secrets of life are being created now. And then we've got two of our peepers. We'll cook those guys up. And hopefully this will be a decent amount of food for us. Like this, like so. One of these, one of those, one of those, one of these. Ah, feels better. A little bit better. Um, all right. So what are we going to be doing first? Well, the first thing I think that we need to do is we have a radio signal. And I feel like we've got to go up to the ye olde escape pod and check out what's going on with this. Uh, let me check inside of here. I think all of our beacons have been, we have researched or found all of these things. Uh, in each one of them, we have uh, gone and explored. And so I've turned off the indicator to show what they are. Let's play the message from the radio. <laughs> Stephen Hawking? Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Kassar! Immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. All right, hold on a second. All right, so we got this guy a new deal. Life pod 13. Let's see, can we see it from here? A thousand meters! And this is why it is so good that we've crafted the Seamoth up here. Now, we can't rename our Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Brenda! It's Brenda! Uh, we haven't, um... We haven't been able to or won't be able to name our seam off until we build some more stuff and things. We need a moon pool and stuff like that. But this guy is so amazing. So right now we are at 96% or 96 power. Uh, we have 100 uh, of the repair, the hull integrity. The water's at 31 degrees Celsius. So it's looking pretty good. But before we go anywhere, we really should do some stuff and things. Now we've got a couple of backup batteries, but we've got to make sure... When you're out at sea, it's a dangerous world. And so, we've got to do other stuff and things. So, thankfully, we've got a battery right here. Because I think we're going to need that in order to make what we're trying to do over here. Which is, we need another power cell. So, two batteries and one silicone rubber. This is what I'm talking about, guys. We're planning ahead. So, now we're only going to have one extra battery. Let's go ahead and grab... You know what I'll do? Let's take this partially charged battery out. Let's take two of the charged batteries and squirt them in there. That'll give us these two batteries here. Then we'll go up inside of here like so, make a new power cell. So we have a backup, and then we'll grab our other two batteries out of here to make sure we have two fully charged batteries. So two battery backups, and you know what? I think we only probably need one. 66%. Yeah, wait, whoa. Scanner charge is at 9%, so let's do this. We'll go over here to our scanner, do like so. One of these bad hombres, pop inside of here. Uh, charge that bad hombre up. Okay, you see? You see how this is working out? Nope, don't scan. Put these guys inside of there like so. All right, feels good, team. So, we're GTGs there. So, let's go ahead and head over. Oh, feels good, team. Oh, and they must have made a timer on when you get in and out of the Seamoth so Brenda doesn't say, welcome aboard, Captain, every single time that you're doing stuff. So, in betwixt the last playthrough of Subnautica and this one, I'm pretty sure that the Seamoth has been updated yet again. Um, it feels ridiculous. Ridiculously easy to pilot. Oh, yeah, baby. Hot jumping action. But yeah, it feels so smooth. It's so amazing. Um, and it's just a pleasure to drive it, which is kind of like my whole thing with Subnautica. The reason why I think it's so amazing. It's just such a pleasure to be on the open ocean. Um, so 900 meters over there. It looks like it is turning out to become dark. It's at 175 meters, and our um, total depth that we can go down on this craft is 200. So we haven't got any of the stuff and things yet. We haven't got any additional. <gasps> Let's, uh, that looks like a sea moth fragment. Yeah, a sea glide fragment, pardon me. There's a little salt over here. I'm just going to grab that really quickly. We can make, you know, with salt, we can make some bleach and make uh, water a little bit easier. And we have been harvesting quite a few bladders, and so we're running out a little bit. Um, okay, wait, 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 what? There it is. I was going to say, where did our waypoint go? Oh, my God. 
This is so cool, man. I swear to God. Pardon me. I swear to God there's things that I, I'm seeing in this playthrough that I feel like I've just never seen before. And I don't know if it's just because I haven't gone to these areas much or exactly what it is. What a place, though, man. This looks amazing. Anything inside of there? Oh, you know what? This would be the most amazing thing ever. Oh, it's mobile vehicle. Vehicle bay fragment. I think we've already got it. Yeah, we've already got mobile vehicle bay. I'm looking for the power cell charger. That would probably be the next order of business that we really need to get into here. Oh, mushroom stuff and things, ladies and gentle peeps. The mushroom forest. What was that little bioluminescent deal? Oh, my God. I don't remember these guys either. I swear to God, this is different. They've added stuff and things. Is this the thing? Tree spawn? That is definitely different. Okay, we can't do anything like that to it. And then over here, these purple guys? I don't remember these being here. It's like freaking purple herbs. They're just kind of bioluminescent deals. Oh, what's this? Tree leech? That's definitely new. Indigenous life tree leech. Parasitic fungus-like growth. I'm, I'm, I'm trying dominated. to talk. Brenda? Brenda? Picking up faint. All terror vehicle signatures. Oh, okay. Good to know. Uh, but I was trying to talk, Brenda. Uh, growth found attached to other life forms. An enzyme is released by the organism, which dissolves a hole in the skin of the host, which it leaches nutrients from directly. Ugh, gross. Okay, so we can't do anything with that either. Oh, wait. Oh, can we scan this guy? Tree mushroom stuff and things? Let's learn. All right, so we're not going to read it. It's a tree mushroom. It's unbelievable and amazing. We know about that. So, tree... Tree leeches is our new. And then the tree... What was this called again? Tree spawn? Interesting. Very interesting. <gasps> oh, these guys are so cool. We got 60 seconds of O2 left. Let me show you them. They're so beautiful. The jelly rays. Oh, no. I can't get it. Back here, jelly ray. Don't hurt me. I just want to scan you and learn all about your life form and how amazing you are. Oh, the jelly rays. We've learned about them. Uh, oh, wait. This is like perfect shiny thing for Slip Gator. Grew clusters. We don't scan it. Okay. I think that I've seen the Grew clusters before, but other things, not so much. So let's head back over here to our Seamoth. 30 seconds. I'm good, Brenda. We got this. And we have to be careful not to hit any of the uh, the tree mushroom stuff and things. We're at 150 meters, 155 meters. And the mushroom forests are just amazing looking. <gasps> oh, dude, is that the huge deal? I think that's the huge deal. There's a giant mushroom tree in the center of this area. Look how amazing it looks. All right, let's do one thing at a time. Not too many shiny things. 90% power. Let's get our lights on this guy so we can see what's going on. Abandoned PDA, life pod 13, emissaries, voice log. New PDA data. Live pod launch sequence initiated. How come their voice is different than our voice? They have like a different Brenda. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. Uh, weird. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. All right. And off and on again. Okay, don't do drugs. Plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Dude, did that just guy go to the Matrix? That guy just went to the Matrix, I think. I feel like he definitely went to the Matrix. 75 seconds left on air. Doesn't look like there's anything inside of here. Interesting, interesting information there, dude. Also, did you guys find that message to be a little bit porny? It was a little odd. There was a little bit of porniness going on there. Not sure exactly what was happening. So, LifePod 13, just that one PDA from the weird guy that was on drugs and maybe like a sex maniac. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, look, there's our shadow. So, I'm not seeing anything else around the LifePod. Uh, let's just to be sure, turn our lights off, and then maybe we'll be able to see if there's another PDA here or something a little bit more easily. I wasn't getting any scanning indicators in here either, so I don't think there's anything left to be done at 13, which is a little bit odd. 
Um, also, we're running a little low on water. Might not have been our best bet to come out here without having topped off completely. Well, let's check this guy out here, man. Look at this guy, you guys. It's unbelievable and amazing. Oh, I think this is... I think there are more than one of these. Okay, so I think there's more than one of these trees. This looks like it's changed a little bit. Oh, shale outcropping? Yeah, baby. Was that lithium? Uh, right there. Okay, yeah, some hot lithium action. Those shale out outcroppings, these guys... Well, they're straight up lithium. We're gonna need these for reinforcements. If we want to do any reinforcing of our structures, lithium is the thing that we need to do that. So we can see that here. You can see one lithium and three titanium. And it's actually not super easy to find those. And these shale outcroppings can also drop some pretty high-end stuff. Uh, diamonds and things like that. So probably, even though we're a little bit low... Mm, gold, I think. Even though we're a little bit low on um, water, it's probably a good idea to spend a little time over here. Uh, and go ahead and go through and find as much of the lithium as we can. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to squirt around here, pick up some of these guys. Some hot gold action. See if I can find some more lithium. Looks like we've also already have another message. Am I stuck? Why am I stuck? All right. So I'm going to gather some stuff and things, and I'll be our bees, peeps. Okay. So 18, 15. Ugh! I found something. Aboard, down over here, there is an entrance to this large tree. Right down. Where was that bad ombre? I got a little turned around underwater here. There we go. This guy right here. We have some air. 46% battery power. Uh, creature eggs we're not going to worry about right now. Come on. Diamonds! Yes! Oh, my God. All right. So, diamonds are super, super rare. Or, I mean, not super rare, I guess, but they're more rare. So we definitely want to find as many as we can. Uh, we may get a little turned around. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen, we found it. Oh, we found it, baby. It's a cuttlefish creature egg. Super unbelievable and amazing Easter egg. Oh, I'm so excited by that. Oh, my God. Wow, there's like nothing else in here. There's another shell outcropping diamond. Mm, lithium. I think we go this way. Yeah, there's the sea moth right there. Uh, 90 seconds left on O2. Dude, the cuttlefish, so cool. So we can make, I don't believe we're able to hatch the cuttlefish. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe we can hatch it in the sea. Gel sacks, we can pick up a couple of these. We don't need them for a lot of things that I, if I remember correctly, we'll pick up a couple gel sacks. Um, 70 seconds left on O2. Um, I'm not sure how it is. I don't think that we can hatch the cuttlefish in the open water. I think that we need to go back to base to do that. Also, what was I trying to scan there? Dude, what is this? Oh, is it a baby spade fish? That's a baby spade fish. Okay, we might be in a little bit of trouble here. 40 seconds. Another diamond. Feels good, team. Okay. Uh, can we get back? Is that a thing? Can we get back to the sea moth? currently inside a long calcified... Root system. Oh, I'm. Evidence suggests it was eaten away by other life forms. I'm pretty over aware. To okay, form these okay, we're in trouble. Caves. We gotta get out of here. O2, O2. Yeah! Oh my god, good deal. Okay, so I'm super excited. We found the cuttlefish egg, uh, Easter egg that's in the game now. And this is a guy that we can actually hatch and have him live by our base deal. It's gonna be freaking amazing. I cannot wait to do it. Ah, freaking guy just got me! What the crap, Mesmers? Small carnivorous life form with unique hunting mechanism enables to hypnotize its foes. Dude, that was not okay, man. That was like freaking Jurassic Park stuff and things. Almost back home. I grabbed some food and we have some salt. And I do believe we have the table coral that we're going to need in order to make... Uh, some hot water action. So let's pop in here and get stuff and things going. Dude, the cuttlefish egg is a huge find, man. Can we squirt that inside of here probably? Kind of like along with our other stuff and things that are cool, the poster. You know what we can, I think. Wait, well, oh, let's, let's go ahead and save our game. Save early, save often. Uh, we can put our poster up, uh, I think. Yeah, like right over here maybe. We can put this guy in and make our house a little bit more of a home. Yes, I'm trying. Okay, brother button. He's done it. Look at that, man. Natural selection poster. 
Love it. Okay, so uh, in here, this is what we need for the... Wait, which one is it? Table coral or other coral? Oh, dude. Aerogel. Okay, that's what we need. We learned how to make aerogel because we got the gel sacks. And we have the rubies. And I can't remember what this is used for... I don't remember. One of the suits, maybe, or something like that. Uh, but bleach is what we're going to need. So we're going to need uh, coral tube samples. So we can come inside of here. Mm, that's not correct. Mm, wrong? Nope. Okay, something weird's happening in my game. Why? Okay, let's go over here. Open this guy up. Grab two of those bad hombres. And then now... Oh, hot water action. Like so and like so. Let me pop over here. And then this is a lot of water. The disinfected water, you get two of these. So it's a huge amount more than using the bladders. And then pop inside of here and we can make cooked peepers. Also, if you didn't know, uh, if you hold down the shift button while you're crafting, it keeps the little crafting window open each time instead of closing it. Because like now, if I hit this, it'll just disappear because I'm not holding shift. All right. Feels good team. Eat. Oh, oh, overeat. Oh, who cares, man? Feels good. Oh, let's just drink it all. Should we? No, we'll save those. All right, so check it out, guys. Diamonds, gold, all sorts of stuff and things. What do we have? The Oh, yeah, over inside of here. We can go ahead and squirt in our gold, the two diamonds, and then lithium. We got a huge amount of it. So let's put all of our lithium in here with our lead just to be organized. We'll squirt that over here and squirt that over there like so. Then these guys are going to go in here. More titanium and then plant-based stuff and things. The gel sacks can pop inside of there like that. You guys, that was freaking great, man. We got a lot of stuff and things taken care of just from heading out to that deal. Um, okay, so... Feels good, team. Let's pop up over here. Uh, and then let's grab these guys just to get some HPs back. And let's talk about the signal. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. That's pessimistic. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Interesting. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, we might get rescued here, huh? So let's pop over here. Let's turn that guy off. All right. No new signals? What the? Huh? How much, uh... Yeah, we have two, uh, HP med kits inside of there like so. All right. Sweet. So that being said, and having all sorts of cool stuff and things going on over here, uh, I do feel like it may be time to go ahead and expand our base a little bit. Now, having put our poster up right here, let's go ahead and take that down. Let's go ahead and place that back inside of there. Um, and I'm feeling like this is probably going to be our best bet for additional stuff and things. Or we could go up. Like, above the surface? That kind of would be kind of neat. Mm, so let's take a look here and see. If we were going to build the vertical connector, we just need some titanium. And I'm wondering if I can build a multi-purpose room on top of it. Let's pop these guys inside of our inventory like so. Let's go ahead and grab some quartz like this. And let's go ahead and take a look here. If we pop out of this guy. Vertical connector. Is it gonna allow me to do it from inside or do we have to do we have to do it from outside or do it from inside? All right, hold on, let me see here. Do they change stuff and things? Oh weird. Ladder first? No, no ladder first. Interesting. Did they change a little bit of building or am I just doing it wrong? I might just be doing it wrong. Let me see here. Vertical connector. They may no longer be able to fit on multi-purpose rooms. Can I put another multi-purpose room on top of this multi-purpose room? Okay, so I can do that, but I don't want to. I kind of just want to, like, build something a little bit higher. Um, also, I'm guessing what I'm going to have to do... This is two glass. I don't know. I'm feeling like this guy's probably where it's at. And then let's go ahead and rotate with brackets. Or you could just mouse wheel. We can go like this. And then... There we go. Now, will a multi-purpose room stack on that? It won't. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, now before it would allow me to do the multi-purpose room above, I think that the way that's going to do that is it's just going to put down like a big foundation. This is really interesting, man. So I'm wondering if we built this here. Now we can always just tear stuff down. It ain't no big thing. 
we went like this. Let's pull these off. Now, what if we were to do this guy here? Now, what if we were to do this guy? Will it allow it down there? Oh, man. How? What the crap? Hmm. That's a bummer, dude. It's a bit of a bummer, man. Um, all right. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more because what I want to do... Actually, can I even do it yet? Ooh, I don't think we have the ability to build it. So, I want to go ahead and build... There's basically the large fish tanks. I can't remember exactly what they're called. There's large fish tanks that we can put inside of the multi-purpose rooms. I haven't found the bloops for it yet. Not this guy, not the aquarium, but something that we can hatch the cuttlefish in. And uh, yeah, it doesn't look like we're able to do that yet either. Hmm. Let's pop down inside of here. We gotta walk before we can run, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get a trash can built. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, we could place that guy right down over here. If there's anything gross that we don't need anymore, like for instance, these lockers. Wait, back to game. These guys right here. Wait, where, where, wait, what? Where'd my lockers go? There they are. So waterproof lockers, I mean, we don't really need these. So I can go ahead and just trash them. Uh, we can pop inside of there. Trash can. We got to be really careful what we put in. And then it should just go ahead and disappear. Oh, wait. Does it not? There they go. All right. And then we can go ahead and squirt that guy in there and grab these guys. We just have no use for them, and I don't think that we will. So we'll squirt those guys out of there like that. I'm going to go ahead and play around with building uh, here a little bit more and see what I can get done. I'd love to build above the water if we can. Um, so I'm going to play around with some stuff and things, and I'll be our beast, peeps. Uh, the sun is rising, and the thing that I was trying to think of before is called alien containment. That's the thing we don't have yet. So we need to be able to find uh, the alien containment loops so we can go ahead and start building some of those. But we might do a little bit of a redesign here. So here's what I'm thinking that we're going to try to do. So the highest we can build this guy is like right here, right? So I don't want to necessarily build it over this room, but I'm feeling like maybe right there is the, is the deal. So that's as high as I can go. Now, if I build this guy... I'm going to experiment here. And then we build this guy. All right. So that is above the water line. Now, if we build this guy or we destroy this, what happens? I got to find out what happens because I'm really not sure. Uh, okay. So looks like it's just sitting there. Is it going to be floaty? Could it please be floaty the whole time and not sprout legs? Because I like without the legs. I feel like that looks really good. So now, can we go ahead up here and then... Oh, that's weird. Why would it allow me to build it up there? Like this? Okay, so we're G's on that. Uh, and then can we hatch? We don't. We need more titanium. All right, let's pop down over here. Grab some more titaniums. You know what I think we also might do real quick as well? Let's go ahead and grab some more of that, like that. Let's grab a bunch more of our titanium so we can just build... And then let's go inside of here and build a couple pieces of glass. I think we'll build three. And I think I have one. All right. Feels good. Wrong. And then pop over here. Oh, wait. How many? Oh, yeah. That gave us three. Do we not have any other glass? I thought. I could have sworn to God I had one. All right. So we have a couple glass now, just in case. But now over here, can we hatch right there? Very interesting. What happens if we go in? And we are still getting power from our solar panels. This is quite, quite interesting. Now, what if we were to pop up over here and then add a ladder? And then now we're on the top floor. Oh, baby. Let's talk about this real quick. And then if you take a look in the upper left-hand corner, no structural integrity stuff and things. So uh, if I'm not mistaken, once your base is above the waterline... There's no structural integrity that you have to worry about, which is very interesting in fact. That's kind of amazing. I'm pretty much into this whole idea. Dude, it's going to take so much in order to move. I don't want to have to move all of our stuff. Maybe we will in the future, but that's going to be a lot. Oh, look how I did. I didn't do that very well. Um, but yeah, this is very, very cool. I'm very much into this idea for our first base. So we pop inside of here. We could maybe do our storage down here. Uh, or even just like an entryway or something like that. What does it look like when we put glass in here? And no structural integrity message. 
Dude, that's so cool, man. So we can make this kind of maybe just into an entry and have the half water and then half air. That's freaking awesome looking, man. And then over here, we can see all sorts of amazing stuff and things. And we can continue to build out too. I think we can go like so. Oh, can we not see it in here? I thought there was a way. It won't allow a building of those from the inside. Let's try this really quickly. I know the video is getting a little bit longer than normal, but I want to see what we can do here. So what if we came out over here with one of these guys? Okay, this is very weird. Doesn't want to allow me. <gasps> He's done it. All right, interesting. And then I think you used to be able to do this. Let me see if we still can. Do we have the stuff and things we need to make a hatch? We do. Um, I think you used to be able to hatch on these. and I'm not sure if you still can. You can. Interesting. And now, don't fall. Don't fall. Oh, we're above. We're on. Can we get on top of this deal? I don't think we can. Hold on. Maybe if we... We can't get up here. But we are on top of the world, so to speak. So, very interesting stuff and things, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. A base above the water line. It is unbelievable and amazing, but that is going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. Make sure if you like the video, drop a like. It really helps me out. Uh, if you want to see more stuff and things, don't forget to subscribe as well. Dude, there was a Gary fish there for a second. I needed to scan. Um, yeah, subscribe for more stuff and things. And thank you so much to everybody who helps support the channel on patreon.com slash lipgator. If you want to help to support stuff and things, um, you can head over to patreon.com. Thank you guys very much for all your support. Look at that. May the stuff and things be with you.